Hello, wide world of the internet. Uh, I'm actually doing this video because now I need somebody's help that's better at Photoshop than me because I can't remember what I did. Um, this image I created on CS5, and I need someone to tell me how when I inverted a layer, um, that if this one's disabled, now when I turn it on, um, this blue crusty looking stuff in here, like how, how did I manage to get from that as it then inverted a layer and then get to these colors? I don't remember, because I was going to actually do a tutorial about how I made a pretty, my badass looking moon here that I did for, for my friend's album. It's kind of graphic design looking. And I like the outline I got here using the threshold adjustment layer that I made. But I don't remember how I got to this point right here. I don't remember if I used threshold on top of the invert. I don't remember what I did. So if somebody knows what adjustment like does this affect and I know I got a set to color dodge and I know that's not exactly the whole reason why it looks like that. I know it's blurred. Maybe it's maybe that's it. Maybe I haven't been blurring right. Let's let's try it real fast. So that's a pretty that's a pretty deep blur considering I really like this effect. I was gonna I wanted to show people it because I thought it was really cool and I haven't seen Something as similar. There's pl plenty of modes to cartoonify pictures, or however you want to call it, but I don't want to say I'm that original, but I think it, the way I did it was a lot better and a lot more interesting. Um, oops, invert. So let's go to invert here. Image. Adjustments, invert. Go back to color dodge. Threshold. Bam. Okay, so back to this one. We got our thing here. We're gonna do image. Image size. I may have figured it out while asking the question. If I did, I'm gonna feel like a real douche. Control C, that ain't right. It's uh image adjustments curves. Normal. That one's on. Normal now. Image adjustments. Brightness and contrast. Brightness. Contrast. We get a little contrasty. Layer. Image adjustments. Curves. And filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Image adjustments, invertation, color dodge. Uh oh. Uh oh. I may have figured it out. And then we go up here to image adjustments. And what am I doing here? Oh, layer. Adjustment layer. Give us a threshold adjustment. Okay. Oh, dig it a damn. Well, didn't get the same effect that I had previously, but uh, we're going to call it good for now. It's like... Just for the sake of ending this video. Can call... We'll call that good, I guess. Right there, Control J, duplicate layer, go up here, and go to darken, and then bam, kind of. Um, not the same thing as this one, which this one's kind of badass, but this one also, I also went over this one uh, previously with like super like a dark blood red there, and then brushed it up, and then hold on, let's. Select our areas here. And control Shift I invert selection, and then like highlight this beast up here a little bit, which isn't like I'm doing this really sloppy right now, but I really don't care. Well, that's how I made a blood moon. Um, if anyone has some suggestions about how to reduce my uh, or to get my lines back to how I got this line line art style, I mean I know I did the Hue and saturation. Well, actually, I didn't do a hue and saturation this time. That's why I think I did it the last time, maybe. Uh, levels and curves adjustments. 
and then doing a inverse. Then we do an inverse like there, and then once we do the inverse, we do a adjustable of the threshold adjustment layer. Then duplicate the one back on top of itself. I set this one to dark, and you could probably put it to multiply and do the same thing. But dark and I think on the last one made it look a lot better. As you can see there, it looks really good. And this one you can see the red here. I really brought it out and highlighted it. Um, and then for my for my final picture though that I did this with was this right there. We were working on some stuff for a buddy of ours. And this image has still not been used. You can see all the wonderful detailing texture work and all the other stuff in there. All right, well, that's that. Um, just thought I'd share a quick Photoshop tutorial of something that I thought was interesting, and then now I couldn't even re recreate it. And that really upsets me that I can't do it the way I wanted it to do it again. But that's also the fun of working with Photoshop CS6 versus CS5. Now things are different. Like I don't have you don't have sketch filters anymore and a whole bunch of stuff. There's a whole bunch of stuff on here that's not here anymore. Sad times. All right, guys. Well, I guess that's gonna be it for me. And uh, watch it, like it, subscribe, give me a comment, especially if you know what the hell I'm trying to do and make it better. So definitely drop me comments if that helps. Thank you. Okay, I said end. Why are you ending?